and put a little solder on there. Okay. And now and shrink it down. Okay, so now that's protected. All right, so now we can just slide that into the box here. All right, now the next thing is put this on the switch. Boy, I really got some small switches, I'll tell you. I didn't expect them to be that small, but they are. I'm going to take and cut this back. And I will take a bigger chunk. I don't need that long. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Put it on the tube, or on the wire. And I think I might be able Put that down just a little bit. Put a little tinning on here. Let's use this as a prop. need 14 hands here. I think we got it. I think we got it. Ain't pretty, but it'll work. Put the heat tube up there. Each shrink tube. Shrink it down. We got it. Okay. So now you're going to have to play with your wires because your screw holes are in the back. Unfortunately, that one mounting hole back here behind the wire isn't going to be used. Uh, but th this is so light, your three are going to be more than enough. You don't even need the three. Two would do, would do it. But you bend that back over like that. You snap your case together, and there is your laser. Now I'm going to pause the video and go set up the camera over by the CNC machine and show you how I mounted it. Okay, it says it's recording. All right. All right. Here's the where I'm going to mount the uh, laser. Now what I did was I took a square from this edge to a quarter inch bit under uh, on the uh, on the router. I took uh, and I went straight line 
and drew, drew a line on the front and the back to find where I wanted that laser mounted so that I don't have a lot of adjustment. I'm still going to have my X adjustment to go from where the laser is over to the center of the, the uh, bit. But at least I won't have a, a lot of Y axis adjustment. Then I went, once I got that, I put the, the empty box up here and I took an automatic punch, one of those snap punches, and I've got my marks. And then I'm using just simple hex head sheet metal screws. And let's see what happens. I gotta see if I can get the screws in the holes now. I had, did, did it all empty before. Come on, cooperate here. I'm gonna get, I gotta get my needle nose pliers. Can't get in there. Gotta work it past the body of the laser. Maybe I can screw it all right on past. Yeah, that's cool. That's working. Okay. Get the wire out from underneath the head of the screw. That would be helpful. Now let's see if I can move the red wire and get the other one in place. I didn't make these holes. I made the holes the same size so that the screw is actually cutting threads as it goes through. Let's move that out of the way. Okay. See if I can actually get them in the holes I drilled. It wants to cock. All right. We got a here. Here's the problem. You can see that screw is cocked over there. Get it straightened out. That one started. Over.
This one came out a little closer to the laser case than I expected it to. I'm going to have to bring it in a little bit at a time. Well, I can tell you that's not going to move. <laughs> that's in there tight. Okay. <coughs> Just nestle your wires back in place. Close your box. There you go. Now let's see if we got a laser. There you are. <coughs> now I'll just adjust the crosshairs. There. Now I'll pull, pull the camera. I hope this is showing up. Looks like it on the camera. There is the crosshair right there. There's a crosshair. There's that. There's this way. Alright. Now my bit is way over. Get my camera up there. My bit is way over here. So it's about roughly in this area. So I've got to uh, make it a correction of a good looks like it's going to be a good four inch one two three well three and a half maybe four inches so for my X adjustment it's going to be about four inches but for my Y adjustment it looks like it's going to be less than a quarter of an inch you can see that right there. It's, it looks like it's going to be less than a quarter of an inch for the, the Y adjustment. That ain't too bad. And I now have a nice little laser pointer powered by USB off my computer. I hope this gives you some ideas. Take care.